Barcelona are working on the transfer of Messinho, a new Brazilian star who has every chance of taking the world of top football by storm. Today, the Football Club channel will tell you about a player with absolutely limitless potential and for whom the Catalans are already willing to pay 50 to 60 million euros, even despite their financial crisis. Who is Estevão William and why he is called the footballer worth 1 billion? Let's get into it! Guys, before we begin, we want to ask each of you to give this video a like, especially if you want to get this deal done. Barcelona, like any big club, are always working on strengthening the team. The transfer vector of the Cotland side has changed dramatically. If earlier Barca constantly tried to sign ready-made top stars, now their sporting management is looking either for future stars valued at a reasonable price or stellar free agents who dreamed of wearing Blaugrana colors. Estevão William, the 16-year-old top talent of Palmeiras and Brazil U-17 squad, is considered to be one of Barcelona and its sporting director Deco's long-term targets. After a failed attempt to acquire Claudio Echeverri, who ultimately chose Manchester City, Barca put all their efforts into recruiting another young prodigy who also dreamed of representing the Spanish giants. In the case of the Argentine new Messi, according to media reports, the key factor was money. While choosing a future destination for their star, River Plate demanded a clear and quick payment of the entire transfer amount. Barcelona cannot guarantee such opportunities, and therefore, Echeverri, despite his desire to become a part of Barca, was forced to pay attention to the project of Manchester City, the strongest team in the world at the moment. Both the club and Claudio can be understood here. The guy will be gradually developing in European top football. Some write that he will start his journey with Man City's satellite club Girona. Despite the huge interest from other clubs such as Chelsea, Man City, Manchester United, PSG and Arsenal, Esteval thinks only about making his dream come true, so at the moment, the Cotlands have a fairly good chance of signing the future star. Luckily, Barca can count on Deco's strong connections in Brazilian football and the fact that the Catalans have involved one of the top agents in the Brazilian market under Curry to carry out this complex deal. By the way, he recently visited Barcelona in order to discuss the transfer of the 16-year-old Brazilian. Another valuable factor for the matter lies in Estevão's family's full support of his decision to play for Barca. Both. The agent Andra Curry and the family feel that the departure to Barcelona could be the perfect path of development of Messina's career. As for the financial aspect of the move, which is still important, Barcelona have come up with a plan. In fact, the transfer will take place in the summer of 2025. Only at that time, the Brazilian will turn 18 and will be able to move to Spain under current legislation. That is why Barca are now ready to pay Palmeiras a certain percentage of the transfer fee, then to pay the majority of it in the summer of 2025. Barcelona management is confident, by that time the club will be able to land the whole deal, which is estimated at 50 to 60 million euros. According to the first insights, the Brazilian outfit is all optimistic about Messina's move to the camp now and is ready to meet the Catalan's request. In other words, if no sudden deal-cutting scenarios would be pulled off anytime soon, the 16-year-old prodigy will have every chance of realizing his dream. Meanwhile, Messino is openly flirting with Barca, and fans notice the signs of it on social media platforms. Here he is happy for Vita Roque, and here he is celebrating in the style of his idol, Leo Messi. Estevão has also already given an exclusive interview to the Barcelona-based Mundo Deportivo, where he said, we quote, My biggest dream is to play for Barca. Keeping that in mind, Barcelona's starting position in the negotiations sounds really promising. As of this moment, Messinho is playing for Palmeiras at Copinha and scoring goals like these, for example. He also can mock defenders as he pleases. This guy is an absolute dribbling monster who does amazing things in the style of Neymar. 
can be a real killer at finishing. As well as easily creating scoring opportunities for partners, despite the fact that he is left-footed. What's more, he is capable of scoring such masterpieces from the right one as well. He can also go for such runs in the style of Messi or Dembele and deliver some free kicks goals. And here's a little detail about the comparison with Lionel Messi. Rings any bells? No wonder this little magician was nicknamed Messinho. Cold-bloodedness is also in check. Do Elastico? No problem. Estevao also loves executing stepovers in the style of the legendary Ronaldo. As you can see, he is a very skilled lad with lots of tools in his arsenal meant to deal with opponents. Interestingly enough, many pundits rate Estevao even higher than Endrick. By the way, these two super talents began to be promoted at more or less the same age, when they were 14 years old. Among Messina's key qualities are his unlimited possibilities on the football pitch. In particular, his shift to the midfield and the ability to play not on flanks only. Some noted his physique, which despite his still thin body is impressive. Speed, power and most importantly, the prospect of becoming a top-notch athlete. He has all that in him. Messinho has a low center of gravity, which allows him to quickly outrun defenders both due to speed and fast-paced dribbling. This same ability with a low center of gravity was available to performers such as Azar, Messi, Sterling and Insigne. The management of Barcelona has doubts whether it's worth investing 50 to 60 million in this deal because of the Lamine Yamal factor. Though these guys do differ a little. In particular, Estebao's qualities allow him to take up the role of a playmaker. An attacking midfielder to be exact. He is excellent at developing and orchestrating attacks, as well as assisting and finishing. Let's not forget about the false nine position. Messinho has what it takes to make it work. So, in the hands of a skilled coach, this kid can become a pretty powerful weapon. However, pricing cannot be counted as the player's strongest point. It's often unsuccessful and a lot of work should be done in this aspect. Besides, he sometimes falls out of the team's structure and his positional play leaves much to be desired. But the guy is still young and therefore he will still have time to improve the set components. Want to understand Messina's full potential? Well, in Brazil he is already called Neymar's successor and is predicted to have an equally glorious career. Simply put, he is both the Brazilian Messi and the new Neymar. If that's not the ideal player for Barcelona, then we don't know who is. As for Messina's recent appearances, it's worth noting them being quite convincing. He has already made his debut for Palmeiras first team and had a very strong U-17 World Cup campaign, where he scored three goals and delivered three assists. During the first match at Copinha, which is held within the U-20 category and stands as the championship of the state of Sao Paulo, Messinho was among the most effective footballers begging a brace. Firstly, he converted a penalty and then… this beautiful goal happened. Superb opening and finishing. He was also remembered for demonstrating a bunch of marvelous skills. For example, in this clip, both he and his partner left the opponent's defense dumbfounded. But unfortunately, this strike turned out to be inaccurate. And what do you think of this impressive run? A pure beauty, isn't it? No doubt, this guy will provide even more captivating performances than before, and thus Barcelona could actually complete the transfer that can change the future of football right now. Folks, we hope you enjoyed this video and you won't forget to leave us a like. And if you don't want to miss our upcoming videos, then subscribe to Football Club, since this is a channel of high-quality football journalism. Check out these suggested videos and stay tuned to our project. Take care and we wish you all the best. Bye-bye!